Hello there, this is GNTV, your one-stop TV channel that fits the bill for issues that pertain to humanity and community in Africa. This program on GNTV is Humanity and Community Program. I'm your friend and brother, a humanity servant, Robert Moon. Today is actually my birthday. You see, men born are special and unique persons. So I'm one of those peculiar, unique, extraordinary human beings on earth. So today is my birthday. Happy birthday, Robert Moon. All right, back to humanity and community program on GNTV. On this episode, we are going to focus on educational sector. And there are tools students use in pursuit of their academic activities, and that is book. And we have collections of books called library. Every school has library and is supposed to be well and properly equipped. So our correspondent, Jason Ville Williams, will introduce us to CJC Comprehensive Secondary School are back in order for us to take a critical look at the school's library. Jason Ville Williams, so take us to the school. Okay. Hello world, you are welcome to CJC Comprehensive Secondary School and we are here live and direct at Atayo Toro in our back local government and we are here to access not just the school but their library, that's actually our main focus for today. So come on with me, let's take a look at CJC Secondary School Library, it's a school library so don't mix it up. There are libraries, there are private, there are national, but here the focus is a school library. So come with me, let's have a look at CJC. Thank you. Come on. That's it. So going to the school, let's meet the principal of CJC Comprehensive Secondary School at Baku Government Area. My name is Mrs. Pauline Efiangopanubo, the principal of the school called the CJC Comprehensive Secondary School, Ataya Toro. It was founded uh, firstly by the mission and now uh, for some years now, it was handed over to the government and it is still the government property. The school was founded in 1972 by, uh, by some missionaries and now it is a government school. They handed over the school to the government and the government is currently taking care of the staff, paying them, giving sometimes giving books to the students from time to time coming for inspection and the students are doing very well. Okay ma, what about the structure and basic components of the school library? We are supposed to be a veritable center of study, research and reading for students and teachers. Is there no problem? The problem that you are facing is that um, we need more support so that from the library, we don't have enough book in the library. If we were to have enough book, students would have uh, would have studied harder than that. As they prepare for their exams, they need support of books from the library. So I think if we can have somebody to come to our aid and support us in the area of education by equipping our library, we will be very grateful to the people and to God. Thank you, Mrs. Pauline. Now, let's hear from the school compound master, Mr. Andy Freke Odosoro. What can you say about the school library? Uh, we have a library in the school, and the state of the library is not conducive for us. Uh, that library was built when this school was founded many years back, uh, probably 1972 something like that, far back at that time. And the structure has not changed from that time, that period of time till today. And you can imagine how such structure 
will accommodate mm. students who are coming to school to read and use the library. So that's the state of our library now. From the academic point of view, let's hear from the vice principal academics, Dr. Joseph Obut. Well, we have gotten a space for reading. That space we may not actually call it a library because it is not well equipped. We, the whole place is filled up with the outdated books. The only alleviation was when we got the free supply of uh, some textbooks in mathematics and sciences from the Udom Emmanuel's uh, administration and supply. So that is the only thing. The whole of that place is filled up with outdated books, books that are not more useful. And we noticed that in a standard library, it is digital somehow. But if you get there, uh, it's, it's, there's nothing similar to anything digital in that place. It's just a reading space. We have been able to provide reading space and provide seats for the student to stay. It is not a standard library. So we expect the best and we expect assistance, we expect alleviation from uh, uh, individuals and uh, associations from NGOs and the uh, government. Okay, let's get over to students, those who are directly being affected by the defunct facility, as you've all seen. I'm here to talk about the school library, which is not conducive enough for reading, and it needs to be renewed for reading or studying. The state of my library is that the library is not conducive for learning. There's no ceiling, there's no windows, and shelves to put the books for the students to move and read when they need. Textbooks are outdated. I am Abaseka Riman Meleko. I'm a student of Church of Jesus Christ Comprehensive Secondary School, Kayato. Concerning the state of a library, the library is not comfortable for students to come in and read. Comfortable for students to come in and read. So, um, the library, there is no proper ventilation in the library. The seats, the seats are not enough for students. As a continuing the space, is not wide enough for students to come in. Then the books are outdated. So it's not well equipped for proper learning and studying from students. So we call on the government and NGOs to help us renovate the building, make enough space, bring in current textbooks and other reading materials into the school library. Thank you. So, Mrs. Pauline, you are the principal of the school. Which areas of intervention do you need in your library in terms of book supply? We are interested in mathematics, in English, textbook in technology, then for ICT, that is a computer section so that it can enhance effective and efficient study by the students and by the teachers. Okay, let's get back to Ms. Sandy Freck Odosoro. Apart from the books, equipping the library with books, which other area are we looking at for the intervention? I need a youth to come and rehabilitate, refurbish the library for us so that the students can use it effectively. We, we need books also uh, uh, in, the, in the humanities, in science, in art subjects. You know, this is the, the basic for students to uh, now determine their future, what they will study. If they don't get this basis, they cannot really do well in the future. So we need books in these subject areas that can help them to uh, achieve their goals later in the future. Let's also find out the primary needs of the students in their school library. I want my library to be revamped and stock with books. Example, high CT, technology, science subjects, art subjects, engineering. And I hear about our school on government to improve our library for us so that we can read for our coming exams. I want the book should be renewed and updated for the student to have a brief knowledge about studying and academics work in this school. 
I call on government and NGO to intervene in a school library. And I would like the government and the non-governmental organization to help the school by helping us put the ceilings, the windows, and give us shelves and current books to put in the library. That will help us in studying and preparing for our exams and our future also. I wish the government to help us like in science subjects, chemistry, biology, physics, English studies, mathematics. I also wish the government to help us in art subjects. Then in terms of, in terms of ICT, the computers are malfunctioning, and so we need electricity and proper functioning of the computers and other electric appliances. All right, thank you very much. That's it. From principal to teachers and the entire students of CJC Comprehensive Secondary School at Backroom Government Area, they have laid bare their needs and what they want in the school, especially in their school library. Let's get over to our correspondent, who is a specialized reporter in education and a librarian. Let's hear from her, giving us an overview of the situation in that school. Okay, um, we are here at CJC Comprehensive Secondary School at Otoro, a back local government area of Ibom State. And we are here to assess the state of the library uh, in this secondary school. It is actually a, a school library and we cannot call it a standard library because it is not well equipped to that standard. Um, the library here is um, lacking behind in terms of reading carrels, um, book cabinets, current textbooks for both students and teachers. The library here does not, from the best of my knowledge, they, they do not have a professional library. And of course, this also has an effect on the library management and its settings. A library not managed by a professional, trust me, will not be up to the standard of its management. So looking at this environment, you can see the ceiling for yourself. This place is as hot as it is. Well, looking at I'm actually sweating right now because there's no ceiling and the heat is directly on anyone staying right here to read. So you can imagine any student coming here to read. The comfort is less. The sitting ar um, ar um, arrangement here is not that of a library. So, okay, from all that you've said, uh, Justin View, what is the way out? I mean, the way out for the rescue and amelioration of the situation in the, in the CJC Comprehensive Secondary School, ABAC. So, we need government and NGOs to come to the head of this school. This is not just a school, it's an outstanding school. It's about 1,900 students per se. It's a big school, initially owned uh, by missionaries, but now it's a government school. So we cannot leave it on onto the teachers and the principals alone. We need you, you and I, we need the government, we need the NGOs to come to their aid. Currently, the SS classes, they are currently having their exams and they are complaining bitterly. They do not have spaces to read for their exams. They, and, and the teachers too do not have current textbooks to write their notes of lessons to do research for the students. So you can see what the students and the teachers are actually going through in this school. So that is that for now at the um, CJC Comprehensive Secondary School at Ayotoro in Abak, local government. I am your one and only Johnson V. William for GNTV. Okay. We have heard from the principal and the students and even the teachers from our correspondent calling on non-governmental organizations, NGO and governments to see how much they can go to that school for the library intervention. So far, we've been able to expose to you the need of this school and other meaningful individuals in the world to see how far they can help this school and other schools. This is Humanity and Community Program on GNTV. 
We will meet you again on our next episode with other issues that affect humanity from other communities in our next episode. For now, I'm your friend and brother, the humanity servant, Robert Moon. Goodbye.